Vice President Kamala Harris is headed back to Washington after a stop in Sunnyvale today. During her short visit, she helped announce major news in the development of the semiconductor chips that are so desperately needed and in short supply. ABC 7 News reporter Zach Fuentes has details. The vice president's plane touched down at Moffett Field before 11 Monday morning. From there, making her way to Sunnyvale's Applied Materials. Applied Materials is the company that built the uh, machines used by Intel and Samsung and NVIDIA so they can make chips. And semiconductor chips are exactly what the vice president was in the Bay Area to talk about. Semiconductors are the brain of modern technology. They're, for folks who aren't aware, they're small chips of silicon, usually no larger than a fingernail and no thicker than a piece of paper. And they are essential to every electronic device that we currently use. But chip shortages have been a critical issue around the globe in recent years, all while demand grew. With not enough chips to produce key components in products like cars, vehicles became more expensive and the jobs of those who produced them were drastically cut. It, it was a lesson, it was a big lesson, not only for the United States, for all the countries to understand. In August of 2022, Congress passed the Chips and Science Act, setting aside billions for semiconductor chips production. We invest $53 billion um, in semiconductor R&D and manufacturing. All again with the intention of spurring the innovation and the creativity. The goal, to encourage more production of semiconductor chips here in the U.S. Harris says the investments have led to Sunnyvale's Applied Materials announcement made overnight that a new semiconductor research and development facility is set to be built by 2026. It will be the largest such facility in the world. It will contain some of the most cutting-edge technology including machines that can build semiconductor components as thin as a single atom. Research and development experts say will be critical to Silicon Valley maintaining its place as the hub of ever-evolving technology. If we want to be a leader in the AI, if we're a leader of the technology, we have to have the hardware that's going to run all these technologies. In the South Bay, Zach Fuentes, ABC7 News.